Anthony Tashnik out in front right now with the highest score of 15.66. That is because he's got one solid wave, and your best scoring wave is doubled. So Mike Parsons, the rest of the guys really have their work cut out for him, especially Ryan Seabach and Ken Collins, who are yet to get on the scoreboard. Yeah, they're going to have to get going. But the thing about big wave competition is it just takes that one good ride, and you really want to be in position when the set approaches. And we can see right now, this is Ken Collins, the local boy. He's up and riding. Nice looking wave here. And a nice early entry there for Ken. And uh, he's going to sit back here, bottom turn as this wave doubles up. And a big wally section in front of him. Oh, and he goes down hard. Just pick maybe a high line there, a little too high. And that wave hit him very hard. And uh, the thing about Mavericks is that second section sometimes is the most powerful part of the wave. So Ken Collins will get back out there. This is Ryan Seabach's first wave in the blue, the 44-year-old from San Francisco. Yeah, this is a nice looking wave. It's got a big wall in front of it and uh, he stands back on the tail there. Took off nice and deep, positioned himself perfectly. And uh, Ryan being from uh, right up the beach here in uh, San Francisco, surfs Ocean Beach a lot, which is a great training ground for Mavericks, big open beach break. And uh, he's done very well here in the past. He's made the semifinals a number of times. So he's looking for that first spot in the final. And on the inside, Ken Collins, he needs help from the water patrol. And this is a dicey situation. Mike, you've surfed out here before. How critical are these guys? Well, it gets pretty heavy in there where he is right now because he's getting closer and closer to the rocks as the set approaches. So the water patrol want to pick him up as quick as they can. At the same time, they need enough space in between waves. So you can see them going into the channel and then back into the impact zone to pick him up. Looks like he's okay. He's going to jump on the back of the ski here. And it does look like he has deployed his... Uh, his life vest there is blown up with air so he can surface. He jumps on the sled here, see if he gets his leash off. And uh, sometimes it's dangerous when the board toes like that, it can fly back and hit you. So the water patrol prefer when you pull the, the leash off, but uh, he didn't want to lose his board there. He's got the rest of the heat to serve, so he leaves the leash on. Here it is one more time. Collins with a great takeoff here and a beautiful looking wave. Yeah, nice early entry there. As you can see him getting nice and low, absorbing the shock there. Great style there from Ken Collins and he sets up this inside and pulls a high line right here. Probably thought about the barrel and goes down relatively hard. And uh, Ken Collins, that'll be a backup score, but uh, still pretty well served.